never been tilled. Uh, the only thing I did is I got my tractor and I got the box plate and just kind of scraped it. Hopefully, you know, hoping that would be enough, but it wasn't. Um, so I'm going to try tilling it with this. We had to change the depth. I didn't realize it wasn't set right, but that is beautiful. We got it going down almost to the deepest depth. And uh, yeah, that's coming out really nice now. And this soil is very dry right now, so it's pretty hard. It's never been tilled. And this thing's doing a phenomenal job. Okay, we have here an assortment of all types of seeds. These here are seeds that we have been saving for the past eh, almost a year, not quite. We have uh, yellow pepper, all kinds of peppers here, red peppers, uh, green peppers. Um, we got some heirloom uh, broccoli rabe. If you're not um, familiar with that, it's also called rapini. Um, <clears throat> It's a little on the bitter side, but boy, oh boy, you, you uh, cook that down with a little water in a pan, and then afterwards saute with a little gar garlic and olive oil. Oh, my goodness. It's fantastic. Uh, let's see what we got here. camera's kind of dark. We got some uh, kugutsa. Kugutsa is an Italian squash. If you've never seen them before, they're green, and they're very long. They can grow anywhere from two three feet and I've seen them as long as six feet long uh, but that's I think it's a different variety so I got some of those there <clears throat> we just got all kinds we've been saving things that we like to eat obviously um, so peppers squash we got tomato seeds are all in here um, uh, eggplants radishes uh, my goodness carrots yeah we've got some basil uh, all kinds of stuff here we've been saving up over the years. Cilantro, um, beans, we get all kinds of stuff. But uh, we're going to start planting uh, in our garden today. And we'll show you what that's like here. Alright, and here we went and bought some plants. We got some cilantro. We have some uh, yellow squash, eggplants, some basil, and some thyme. I love thyme and soup. Peppers, we got, uh, what, is, what is this here? I think this is a squash. This is cucumber, I'm sorry. Cucumber, and we got uh, more peppers here, eggplants, and tomatoes. Yep. So we're going to go plant those now. All right, my wife and I and my mother-in-law uh, finally got our garden done. Uh, we've been working pretty hard at it. Uh, as you've seen in the earlier video, earlier in the video, I should say, um, I cut down two trees, removed the stumps. Uh, we tilled this all down um, and got the soil ready. Uh, this has never been tilled. So the, the dirt is, it's been sitting here for, well, forever actually. <laughs> um, but it used to be a goat pen in here. And it, it worked out perfect for us uh, to put a garden in here. But anyways, we planted a bunch of stuff about, about a week and a half ago. Uh, these three rows here, I planted, uh, it's an Italian squash. The Sicilian name is Cucuzza. 
and they're long and green and they're delicious if you put them in like a stew or something um, and then over here we bought a couple plants uh, we've got some uh, yellow squash here a row here and and those haven't come out yet and then here we got some uh, cucumbers we got broccoli and we actually have little broccolis coming up see them there yeah and there's another one right there let's see if I can get that in the camera right there anyways we've got a nice row of broccoli and uh, now these are watermelon we put here uh, from from here all the way to that third marker, not the second one, but the third one, they're monster melons. There's those huge watermelons. We saved the seeds and we planted them. I grew them last year uh, at our other house and they, they come out pretty good. So uh, we just thought we'd just try them out. And then past that point, we got, uh, they're like honeydews, but they call them honeymoon melons. Um, they're green, but they're juicy and sweet. They're delicious. Here we got spaghetti squash, and uh, they're actually coming out right there. And then another one over there. Uh, where is it? There they are, right there. And we spaced them about, you know, two, two feet, two, three feet or so, all the way down. Um, and then here, I'm saving this for potatoes. It's a little late in the season. We're in April. <laughs> But I had some uh, potato. I couldn't find any seed potatoes, so I found some organic russets, and they're just starting to uh, sprout some eyes. And I'm going to cut them up and plant them in here as many as I can. Uh, here we got radishes. Radishes are just starting to come up. There's a little bunch there, little bunch there, little bunch there. The whole bunch of them, all the way down. Here we got white radishes. And then past that other marker, right there, yeah, right there, we got red radishes. I love them. I just pull them out of the ground, rinse them, and eat them. Here we got beets. And we actually got little beets growing there. And there. There we go. So we got a bunch of beets down this row, the whole row, actually. Here we got sweet uh, bicolored corn and that's them right there just uh, these come out like a few days ago got them there they're, now I planted them two seeds and then spaced them apart, spaced them out apart about a foot um, let me see if, yeah I put two seeds here two seeds here two seeds here and I went all the way down up to the, about the middle of the garden and these are yellow and white corn sweet corn and then um, past that point there it's all white corn sweet white corn uh, and the kernels are not in a row in that particular corn they're kind of like all scrambled around uh, here we got carrots and uh, so far I don't think I've seen any carrots come up yet I think they take a little while uh, here we got jalapenos up to that point there. What do we got here? Small sweet green pepper. What is it? Small sweet green peppers. Here. And these are uh, pimentos. We planted here. And then uh, some other varieties down there, but uh, just a, a, a variety of different types of peppers. Here we got some eggplant we bought at the big box stores. Um, I think they're Black Beauties. And uh, let's see, what do we got here? Uh, let me see what that says. Japanese eggplants, that's what these are. These are Japanese eggplants. And then, uh, pretty sure we bought some Black Beauties. These are the same thing, Japanese. 
And this one here is a black beauty. There it is, right here. And then we did plant some other varieties here, going all the way down. Uh, some Italian uh, uh, purple ones, the big round ones. Um, uh, and some other variety, I don't remember. Um, okay. Now here we got peppers. Peppers, what kind of peppers we got? Got uh, purple bell, sweet peppers. Never had those before. And over here we have yellow bell peppers. And here we have green bell peppers. And those are uh, red bell peppers. And again, we planted some more seeds that we had saved from organic uh, peppers we used to buy. So we got this whole row here, just peppers. I'm gonna be all peppered out, man, this year. Uh, here we got San, Mar San Marzano tomatoes. They kind of look like the Roma tomatoes, but they're a little longer and they're delicious to make sauce with. But uh, they're, either way, eat them, make sauce with them, they're delicious. Uh, here I got some Roma, we, these are store-bought ones. Uh, this one here is also Roma. This one here is red beefsteak. These are going to be nice, delicious. And then uh, here we have some uh, better boys. It's going to be good too. What do we got here? Here are more better boys. And then here. We got some husky cherry reds. Here we planted uh, beefsteak tomatoes, more beefsteaks down here. They haven't come up yet, but uh, they will be soon. Here is uh, Rio Grande tomatoes we planted down here. Here we have, oh boy, was this just a marker? Yeah, it's just a marker. So a real grand's up to here. Uh, and then we plant another variety here, I don't remember. I think they're more San Marzano seeds that we had from last year, tomatoes. Uh, what is it? This is all eggplants right here, this whole row. Haven't come up yet, carrots. Uh, now this area here, I gotta string it in here. This is all Swiss chard. And here is all Swiss chard. I just don't remember. We have it marked out there, but I think one's like a rainbow or a red Swiss chard. You know, one's like a green, white stem Swiss chard. Delicious. Boy, you cook those down a little bit and uh, make like a put, pour olive oil on them, put them on a dish, pour olive oil on them. A little fresh garlic, maybe, and uh, oh, it's delicious. And here we have rapini. Rapini is also known as uh, broccoli rob. It's a bitter leafy green. It's got a little uh, flower that kind of looks like a broccoli. Um, and you eat that part. You eat the leaves and that part that looks like a little broccoli. Uh, and it's a little on the bitter side, but uh, we make uh, rapini with pasta. Uh, normally you would um, uh, cook them down. You just put them in a, you get some olive oil. In a, in a pan and you uh, put the leaves and those broccoli um, little flowers in the pan let it cook down with a, just a little bit of water like a couple spoons of water on it uh, with some garlic and let it cook down a little bit and oh my goodness it's delicious um, being, we got some plants some grapes here uh, we don't know we're just kind of experimenting um, to see if they even come up but anyway, that's our garden. Um, once these cucuzza, these Sicilian squashes start growing, uh, they're like vines and they got those little tentacles that you know wrap around stuff. Um, so I'm gonna have to build a uh, trellis, but not your typical trellis, like a wall. It's gonna be some uh, posts 
and like a rooftop of a wire mesh and that'll climb those those posts and up to the wire mesh and then when the cocoots little squash come out they hang down they're real long they're like two to three feet feet long uh, any longer than that you want to just keep them for seed um, they do get four five six feet long i've seen them but of course those are just for seed um, so anyways that's our garden and uh once things start growing i'll uh I'll uh, show you what's growing. <laughs> All right, thanks.